Chad, lucky with you going around at uh, class four, uh, 1,200 metres for David Hayes. He's a horse that's created a little bit of an impression since he's been here. Uh, what did you make of his first up run when he had to sit up outside the leader and the eventual winner? Yeah, it was a good run in defeat. Um, we, we thought he'd run well off his work leading into it. Um, you know, they, they ran home in pretty slick sectionals, so um, after viewing them after the race, I was obviously initially disappointed he got beat, but after viewing the sectionals, it was a very good run in defeat. And, um, it looks like his recent trial, um, it looks like he's progressed and come on, so um, looking forward to riding him. I was about to ask about the, the trial. I know Zach was on board, but you've watched it. Were you excited with what you saw, uh, how he performed the other day? Yeah, I mean, he looked good. He just he cruised under his own steam, and um, I, I know he's, he's a horse with ability, so it wasn't surprising to see him trial that well, but definitely pleasing. Is he a horse that needs a, a little bit of speed on during the race just to, to get him there at the end? No, not necessarily. He's very, he's bomb-proof to ride. He's very lightly raced and inexperienced, but um, he's very easy to ride. He can race up in the pace or he'd have no problem switching off behind a runner. Gracie Love, Chad, going around in race six, class four, 1,400 metres. Uh, last two outings have been very good. Uh, a winner, uh, two back, and then was just run down uh, late last start. Yeah, again, I thought his, his second last time was a winning effort without winning. He, he cruised up to the front. He hit the lead, then he just got sniped by a, a runner out wide, and I think he might have just blindsided him. And if it had it challenged him up close, he might have kicked on a bit. But um, definitely learning about the horse and how to ride him, and um, he's in good form. He had no cover and no luck at all last time out with the, the draw, and he's drawn one big horse like him, uh, 1,200 odd pounds. Uh, how's the draw likely to suit? I think it's, it suits him well. He's obviously three wide, no cover. Last time's never ideal, and he, he did it and still nearly won. So save a bit of ground always helps happy with his uh, track work on Thursday morning for his last sit out? Yeah, he's a very casual horse in the mornings, but he's feeling well. Your own health, uh, you've had a little bit of uh, time away from the saddle with uh, a bout of chicken pox, I understand. Um, not ideal, but uh, you're fighting fit now? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Um, yeah, it's very unfortunate I got it. Very random and out of the blue, but um, I just had to isolate for a while. Um, but I'm back now and looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, two meetings left to, to go. You've had uh, 24 winners this season, but you've got a bit look to, to look forward to next season with uh, exciting horses like Fantastic Treasure. Yeah, certainly. It has been a disappointing season for me in terms of number of winners. I have missed a lot of time on the sidelines with various things, but yeah, I mean, horses next season, um, Fantastic Treasure and whatnot. So hopefully um, we can get a few winners in the bag before it ends and then come into the new season with a bit of momentum. Karras Champions Way going around in the Shartan Mile Trophy. What did you make of his last start effort in the Group 3 Premier Cup? Well, I thought he ran good last time. <clears throat> uh, thought uh, when they eased the pace, he got on a bridle and and uh, and when they sprinted, it took him a little while to get going again. But, you know, to be honest, I like the way he responded and I thought he ran a good race. He was finishing pretty strongly. Quite often he can do that when the, the pace comes out of the race and sometimes even when the pace is in the race, he does get a little bit keen, doesn't he? Yeah, it's actually, it's a bit tricky to ride. You know, you've got to get him to be comfortable and switched off a bit. And uh, I think when he's switched off, then this is when he's quick enough better and he can run them down when he's in his good days. Have you been happy with his work? I noticed you were on board for his uh, trial the other day. How do you feel? Yeah, he actually tried nicely. Um, we gave him a little squeeze the last bit and... He got on a brother nicely and uh, I think he's in good shape and I think it's, it's, it's a good race for him. He's carrying top weight here and he carried less weight last time out. Is he, is he good enough to perform at this sort of level? We know he has been very good in the past, but he, it's just taken a wee while to come back to that level. Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, to be honest, I'm not too worried about the weight. Of course, he's going to have to carry it, but I think he's got the quality and you know he's, he's, he's run against stronger horses before. So, of course, now he's going to have to carry that weight, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, the horse is in good form and I think he's going to run well. Neil, I'm a single man. He was a bit unlucky too back, but uh, delivered last time out. He looks a horse that's got a pretty good turn of foot late. Yeah, he seems to be getting the hang of things. Um, you know, he's had a little bit of a uh, checkered uh, form. Um, you know, he's run the odd good race and then he's kind of just got a little bit lost. But um, a couple of runs back, you know, he just didn't show any speed early. And, um, you know, you could see it at, at, the, at the 300, he was like, hard at it and he just wasn't really going anywhere but the last hundred he like literally just sprouted wings so um you know i was a little bit aware next time then to try and have him a little bit more competitive in a more competitive um place position and um he duly obliged so um i think you know with that 
getting getting the win under his belt that uh, he can he can start going forward now. I was about to mention that even last start looked like he's sort of paddling a little bit towards the 400 metres. It sort of surprised you the way he's been able to pick up again late with that sort of second wind. Yeah, it's funny because like um, I trialled him before he ran these last two races, and um, you know he hit the lids like a sprinter, and he was out, and I was like cruising all the way around in the dirt. So you know you'd you'd, you'd think he would be able to have sufficient speed in in a race, but it's just not the case at the moment. Uh, he just just doesn't he doesn't blow the start he just doesn't have any speed and he just doesn't quite get the gist of things and then mid race you feel like oh you know mid midfield position is the best you're going to get and uh, you know once you get stuck into him he he, he gives you and he responds and um, like the last time he hit the line quite strongly and, and and he won so I'm hoping he can just can gain a bit of confidence from that and uh, keep keep going on an upward curve because uh, I think he feels like he certainly has the ability. He's got another seven pounds on his back and he's drawn middle of the line. From what he's shown you this far, is he good enough to measure up again? Yeah, I believe so. I think he, I think he is. Yeah, um, that's why I say, like, uh, you know, with the way his racing patterns going, it doesn't kind of fall in line with his trials. But um, hopefully, he's just starting to get his act together now, and uh, with that win under his belt, he can get some confidence and go on. Five wins for yourself across the last uh, four meetings. A winner on Wednesday night with Car Fortune for Paul O'Sullivan. No doubt, good to get one for uh, Paul, who's been a good supporter of yours. Yeah, look, I've had a lot of support for the last 10 years I've been here so you know um, it's it's always been like, you know it's always been level throughout the trainer stand it's not always just been one or two supporting me I've had support from a lot so um, I'm very grateful for that and uh, you know just because I'm coming into the last two meetings isn't thing I'm going to take it easy so hopefully I can add more winners. Vincent Stronger, he ran a good race behind the, the top up and coming Galloper Courier Wonder last time out. Were you happy with the way he attacked the line there? Yeah, uh, very happy, very impressive. Uh, you know, where he kept the form, he trial well. Uh, you know, he always try hard in trial, and uh, he also because it's been you know uh, quite separate for for you know a period of time and. He needed a good blow, so uh, he did that in trial, so we're ready to go. He drew in gate eight last time out. Did he just want to get his head down a little bit at the start, and did he? Did you have to go back a, a little further than you sort of wanted just to tuck in? Yeah, uh, actually following careers was fine, uh, but afterwards we got one position back, and uh, yeah, obviously Joe, Joe got in the position in front of Paris and. I got one position back, and uh, yeah, if if I'll be one position more in front, then that would be great, of course. But uh, yeah, hopefully this time draw three will help him. You know, good draw. He's been there or thereabouts in a few of the bigger races this season, close up, and also a, a little bit unlucky. You confident enough he can finish the season out with a, a good win? Yeah, we'll do my best. Uh, we'll do our best to, you know, hopefully bring us a winner. Uh, with a good draw. Your own form, uh, last year's Tony Cruz uh, award winner and Jerry Chow's only a couple behind you. Are you confident enough you can hold him out this season? Well, I'll do my best, uh, of course. And uh, But at the same time, yeah, congratulate uh, Jerry, no, ma no matter uh, what's the result at the end. But, uh, you know, it's always great to see young jockeys up and coming and, and doing that well. You know. It's never easy and uh, he managed it really, really well. So uh, congratulate him.